Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw this sun. Let's make a new document, go to File, New and set the profile to Web. Click OK. Go to the Artboard tool and select Show Center Mark from the top. Let's change the stroke color to None and the fill color to Dark Yellow. Go to View and make sure the Smart Guides are selected. Press the letter L for the Ellipse tool and draw a long and narrow ellipse. Next we'll cut it in half. Press the letter M for the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle starting at the center of the ellipse and extending beyond the bottom anchor point. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Go to Pathfinder. If you don't have it open, go to Window and select Pathfinder. And choose Minus Front. Let's zoom in on this part. This will be our sun ray. Now let's twist it a bit. Select the Add Anchor Point tool and let's add two anchor points here and two down below. Now go to the Direct Selection tool and drag a box to select these two anchor points. Then press the right arrow key on your keyboard several times. Next select these two anchor points, but this time press the left arrow key a few times. And finally select the two bottom anchor points and press the right arrow key a few times. Let's move these two points a little bit up. And now we will add a gradient to it. Select the gradient tool, click on the yellow color box, hold and drag it to the gradient slider. Holding the ALT key on your keyboard, click on this color box, hold and drag it to make a copy. And let's do the same with the white one. Next, press the letter G for the gradient tool. Click at the bottom, hold and drag it up. Let's adjust the gradient. Press Ctrl 0 to see the whole page. Now let's move this part towards the center. Resize it. And move it up. Next we will draw the center of our sun. Press the letter L for the ellipse tool. Click in the center and holding the Shift and Alt keys on your keyboard, draw a circle. Now open the gradient panel and let's change the type to radial. Select the reverse gradient. Let's adjust it a bit. And close the window. Finally, let's rotate this part around the center of the circle. Click on it to select it. Next, press the letter R for the Rotate tool. Then, holding the ALT key, click in the center of the circle to place the rotation point. Type 360 over 20 for the angle and click Copy. Next, press Ctrl D several times to make more copies. Let's hide the center mark, go to the Artboard tool and deselect Show Center Mark. Thanks for watching, bye bye!